Okay, so uh, carrying on with the brushes, we've got um, the knife and the pinch tool next. So the knife tool is basically very good for creating kind of creases and folds in your geometry. So I'm just going to zoom in on the neck area here. And I'm just going to reduce the brush size. Like that. And I'm just going to draw a knife cut in here. So we've basically got this kind of uh, slice and we've got pinching on each side. Now we can actually control the pinch down here. So if we want a softer pinch, we can reduce this uh, pinch amount. And now we get this kind of effect where there's a bit more separation between the two sides. And if we increase the pinch, the maximum is one. You get a very sharp cut. So I'm just going to reduce it down to about here and I'm just going to create some creases. Now one thing I just noticed is I haven't got symmetry turned on so I'm just going to check link symmetry and then um, I might have to reset it. I believe it's XY here. Okay. So I'm just going to create some folds because um, basically this puppet model uh, has some creasing towards the neck. If you hold down shift, it basically does the smoothing operation. So that's quite handy. You don't have to go uh, to the smooth brush, you can just hold down shift. Um, next, I'm just gonna show you what pinch does. So I'm just gonna click middle mouse drag to the left to reduce the brush size and pinch basically just brings those two kind of corners in together as you can see here um, and I'm just gonna carry on pinching these bits together it looks like the geometry needs uh, another level so I'm just gonna go to sculpt subdivide I'm just gonna hold down shift just move these out a bit Okay, yep, so pinch it kind of almost uh, accentuates those uh, creases. So definitely a very useful tool. You can see the kind of folds hanging, hanging over each other. Just going to go back to the knife tool. Um, now another thing I'm just going to show you quickly is a lot of these brushes have a, a steady stroke option and so if I use a knife tool here, I'm going to reduce that, well that's quite a smooth kind of cut but let's say I do a cut here, uh, sometimes you get this kind of jittering when you're trying to draw a kind of smooth line, you get these kind of minor jitters. Kind of, you can see them here. So if you check steady stroke, there's basically a delay in drawing the curve. So um, it's almost as if it kind of uh, waits till you draw the curve and then uh, kind of creates like a B spline, kind of like a more kind of smoothed version of that curve. So it's almost like a kind of look ahead option. And then um, if we go to the extreme here, um, you basically lose the curviness, uh, the line becomes kind of a lot straighter. Um, so basically the higher this value, the kind of uh, longer these bends are going to be, it's going to be more difficult to kind of create uh, small curves. But then if the value is quite small, it's just going to be a subtle kind of effect. And uh, steady stroke is available on uh, most of the brushes. So we've got it on pool, we don't have it on grab, uh, smooth, we've got it on wax, knife, pinch, flatten, inflate, amplify, we've got it on fill, repeat. So basically all of them except grab. 
And that's because grab kind of is a slightly, it's not really a brush. You're actually pulling the geometry out. So that's a very quick look at pinch and knife and steady stroke. And uh, I'll see you in the next chapter.